So guys, uh, I have already made part one of this video in which I am speaking about the Indian salaries and Irish salaries comparison on the basis of your experience. So if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. I have shared the link somewhere here. So yeah, speaking about today's video. In this video, we will be seeing the different accommodation options available here in Ireland and what are the documents you need to give and in return, what documents can you expect? Also guys, there are a lot of frauds happening in terms of accommodation in Ireland. In fact, I was also the victim of that. So we will be seeing that how we can prevent it. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the video. This is Neeti and I'm living in Ireland. Accommodation finding here is a really a messy task because a lot of immigrants are coming from different parts of the world and but we don't have enough houses here. There's a house crunch going on in Ireland. So finding a house, right house is a really difficult thing to do. And guys, please watch this video till the end because in the end I would be sharing some tips which would be really helpful for you to find an accommodation quickly and even from India. So guys, uh, in Ireland, we have different kinds of accommodation options available. First one is the sharing in which you either share the complete apartment or you share the room with someone else. Uh, next one is the studio apartment in which uh, normally those kinds of options are available near the college. Like, you know, in near UCD, we have a part of in which they give you the room. But the other things, other facilities like kitchen is shared or one BHK also or a studio apartment in which you get a complete space of your own and the third one is that the two BHK uh, where actually uh, it's not been very popular among students but you know families who come here they usually take that option so now let's see that you know if you take these options in India how much you have to pay and in Ireland how much would it cost you First one is the sharing. Now this is very popular among bachelors or the freshers because obviously they don't have that much of money and they want to uh, live in a community so that they can uh, discuss a lot of stuff and share a lot of st things with each other. So uh, in India you get uh, that sharing thing where, where you are sharing an apartment with someone else you get a complete room of your own. It usually costs you 5000 INR. But the same thing in Ireland would cost you 600 euros and that's about 50,000 INR and it's a monthly thing I'm telling you it's not the whole year yes it's really costly okay next one is the studio apartment in India you will get it for 10,000 INR and now guys I am telling you about the metropolitan cities in Ireland uh, like you know in Hyderabad how much will it cost or in Delhi or in Gurgaon or in Bangalore might be you will find it cheaper in other cities but I am telling you about those places where MNCs actually exist. Same thing in Ireland you will be getting it in a range of 1000 to 1200 euros and which actually makes up to 1 lakh INR. Yes, that's <laughs> that actually digs a hole in your pocket if you want a uh, individual space of yours because it has its advantages that you don't have to share the space and you have your own uh, privacy and other stuff but it comes with a huge price. The same thing happens with 2BHK as well. Like if you are living on rent in 2BHK in India, it will cost you around uh, 15,000 INR for a simple decent house. Please don't get intimidated by the that big house you will get in Ireland. No, that's not going to happen, at least not in Dublin. Same thing you want in Ireland for 2 BHK, you would be uh, paying 1900 euros, which actually makes 1.5 lakhs INR monthly. Yes, that's a lot, a lot. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, that's how it goes. What people usually do is that students, they uh, take a complete house and what they do is that three, four people actually, students live there so that they have the independence of their own and they have a complete house at their disposal. So these kind of things do happen. Not only uh, families take it, but students also uh, take this option. Uh, so guys, the uh, picture which you are seeing is the actual uh, picture in which a lot of people have come to view the house and uh, this happens that you know whether it's raining or it's windy for a single house at least 10 or 20 people come and it includes the uh, immigrants and local people and mostly the preference is not given to immigrants Irish people are preferred. I'm talking about the graph uh, as you can see that the earning index is quite stable but the rents uh, 
have shooted up after 2015 so that's what is happening you know the salaries are not increasing but uh, uh, the rents are increasing at an enormous rate guys so yeah that's the plight of the uh, accommodation in Ireland you need to be very sure that uh, uh, you know what kind of house you want to take because uh, if you make a wrong decision it's going to make a deep hole uh, into your pocket and your whole uh, then you won't be saving much <laughs> most important factors you need to look for while searching for accommodation is first one is your budget and second one is your location and the third and foremost one is the kind of house you want to live whether you want to have your own space or you would be living in a sharing space so guys apart from rent uh, you have other bills to pay for example the electricity bill uh, gas bill and the fusel bill so uh, together it's around uh, 50 euros which you have to pay over and above the rent. Sometimes it's included in the rent and sometimes it doesn't. That depends upon the contract which you'll be getting uh, for the house. So talking about the location, Dublin City is divided into numbers. So let me show you how you can make a sense out of it. So guys go to Google and type Dublin Map Zone. Now if you go to images, you will see this image here you will be seeing that uh, there are a lot of numbers are there so guys uh, students who are going to study in NCI so look for accommodation in Dublin 1 because that is where NCI college is but that doesn't mean that if your college is in Dublin 1 you have to look for here only you can look for cheaper places but make sure you have public transport there and talking about TCD and DBS that resides in Dublin 2 and for UCD, we have Dublin 4. And for DCU students, you should look for accommodation at Dublin 9. Now, let me show you how you can find accommodation using different websites. So, the most popular one is love.ie. Otherwise, we have rent.ie as well. But on love.ie, you will find maximum number of houses. So, let's see how you can find accommodation. So, guys, now this is the site, love.ie. Uh, now it gives you a lot of options like you know uh, if you want to rent an apartment or you want to share it with somebody a lot of other options which I think we won't be using right now. The first one is that you know where do you want to see the accommodation is it Dublin City, Galway, Cork. So now guys I have opened dark.ie and uh, here you can see that we have a lot of options uh, to rent, sharing, commercial but we are uh, only looking at to rent or sharing. So as you can see, when you go to sharing, you will see student accommodation. So let's click on this and see what happens. So yeah, now here you can actually select your college nearby which you want to have an accommodation. So like, let me select my college. <laughs> select the University College Dublin and what kind of accommodation I want. Let's say I want sharing up, uh, accommodation. I would be sharing the uh, room or the apartment with someone else. So it should be near the college and right now I'm not giving any limit. Otherwise you can give, you know, how much money do you want to pay? Is it 200 euros a month or 500 euros a month? But now let's not select any limit and see what happens. So yeah. And so here you will see the list of houses which according to this website is near to UCD. So let's select this apartment and see. So it's saying that this is in Dublin 14 and the rent which you would be giving would be 550 per month and uh, it has two beds available which is for six months and here you can actually see the details like you know how much uh, people have occupied this place currently it's saying two people are currently living it's not uh, occupied by owner and uh, either male or female they don't uh, bother about it and for how much uh, uh, for what period it is available like it's saying that six months or more and uh, yeah like you know like this you can see all the details and now what you have to do is that if you are really are interested into this house you have to write your name your email id and your irish phone number guys please purchase uh, the irish phone number once you land to this country you have uh, you can buy Leica. so and here you have to type your message like you know in this you have to type that you know why you are uh, coming to UCD or you know why you are actually looking for this house 
like you can write you are a student here and here you came here to study this is what you have uh, to write simply and then one more thing that these guys usually text you they don't believe in uh, doing a whatsapp but they still do text so please look on to your text messages uh, because they will be telling you the time uh, to view this house because the, that's kind of a thing that where you both you know the two parties meet and if they like each other then they give you the offer yeah that's also a kind of offer only that you get for a house so yeah guys it's that's it's simple it means you know the process is simple but the actually getting a house is literally difficult you know, especially in dublin <laughs> So guys if you have friends in Ireland so one thing which you can do is that you can book the house from uh, India itself by using daft.ie or rent.ie and those friends of yours can actually view the house on your behalf and book it because what happens is that that if you will land in uh, to this country so most of the students would be landing at the same time and they would be looking for houses so there will be a huge chaos and competition of finding the right accommodation itself so if you want to save yourself from that thing so uh, you can do that but make sure that you have a uh, good friends who can take decisions on your behalf so guys my advice for you while uh, looking for accommodation is that, is that if you like some house and you have done with your viewing so please don't wait too much because uh, the house would be gone soon this has happened with me that you know i kept on thinking that whether should i uh, go for that house or not but in the meanwhile somebody else uh, even did the payment uh, for it so please you have to make sure that if you like the house uh, go for it and also you need to see that you know what are the transport facilities there if you are looking for going for a job or if you're going for some college so see that you know uh, what are the transport options do you have direct bus or dart so these are the, some of the factors which you need to see uh, before uh, you know uh, buying a house or even renting a house <music> So guys let's talk about the documents which we need to show at the time of renting the house the first one is the college acceptance letter if you're coming as a student or if you're coming as a full-time employee then show them your offer letter and the second one is your some identification card you can show them your passport so that they can make sure that you are a right person and the third one is to show them your financial statement that's really important because they these guys the landlord wants to make sure that you are going to pay him a rent on time <music> So now guys let's discuss about the documents which you will, you will be getting from the landlord once you uh, have agreed to live in that house first one is the contract you would be getting in which it's mentioned that how long the house would be given to you and it's also mentioned that if you leave the house the one month advanced rent would be turned also what i do is that i ask for the of their uh, personal identification card as well and i take a photo of it because sometimes it does happen that you know you might be involved in some fraud cases so to avoid that thing please ask those proofs so uh, let me tell you one incident which happened with me uh, when i came to your island and it was in months time only i was looking for a house so there was this lady uh, whose house i really liked and she was very cordial with me and we agreed that okay i would be paying this much amount and i can immediately shift into the house but she was asking me to pay in advance so that's not uh, quite unusual they sometimes do ask you to pay something in advance but uh, uh, because I know that, you know, fraud happens. So I just asked her about her uh, whereabouts, like, you know, where do you work and whose house is on name. So she, she told me that, you know, she's working in UCD as a librarian. So I uh, called UCD and surprisingly, they told me that uh, nobody with that name actually worked there. So I was a little bit surprised and I texted her the same thing that, hey, uh, uh, UCD told me that nobody with that name actually works in that college. And so after that, she didn't respond. So guys, I was literally saved uh, from getting croaked. But uh, my friends actually uh, had the incident where they they lost their money because of it. And uh, I don't want that thing to happen. So please, uh, guys, be sure that you know you are living in the right place and uh, you don't get croaked.
guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel because i'm being as honest as real with you and uh i hope to meet you once you come to ireland see you in my next video guys in my next video i would be speaking about shopping and uh, what are the different mode of transportations here and how much uh, you would be investing in it so a lot of other stuff i would be sharing so yeah keep on showering your love to me and i hope to meet you once you come to ireland guys see you in my next video bye bye